comme chez nous, il est confort. Et c'est la même chose, c'est le nouveau et le nouveau. Comme chez nous, confort, on a comme... Do we have to give every spirit a voice to, to talk? Oh yes. Every spirit? Oh yes. Ghost? Oh yes. Ghost in your mom? Oh yes. Talk. For your information, I talk to the dead as well, so... Who are the romances? Oh, I talk to the dead. They, can, hey. they even visit me sometimes. I'm surprising you. Hello, family. This is Pastor Gideon. If you are interested in the word of God, you are in the right place. This is Kingdom Matters. Today on Kingdom Matters, we are looking at an interview of Lady Evelyn Wilson Annan with Mommy Grace. And I want you to know, at the end of this video, you are going to find out that she's not actually what you think she is. Now, in a previous interview, when she was asked how she got into all that she is doing now, she said angels came to her as she locked herself for days in room preparing and reading the bible but listening to the end of that interview i made my conclusion that she wasn't hearing from angels of god or true angels from god then i get angels i get the spirit of god talking to me and it will come to you like to say the i was with you just like that and in that video, I said most good people who heard listening to voices thought they were hearing from God when actually an evil spirit was talking to them. With her interview with Mami Grace, which was uploaded on February 18, 2023, the assertion that I made in that previous video has been fully cemented and you are going to find out very soon. She was actually hearing other spirits and those voices are the things that has led her this far into this deception. Now I'm going to come back to do my conclusion but now I'm going to take you one after the other to show you the various assertions she made and how erroneous they could be. The first thing she said was that she said she is a Christian and she said it about two times in the interview. Mommy Grace asked her, are you a Christian? And she said she is a Christian but then she says Christianity is not what many people think. She said Christianity is about Christ consciousness. And don't get it wrong. When they say Christ consciousness, they don't mean the Lord Jesus. They mean your soul or the power inherent in man, which is to them your God or the God in you is the one that you are supposed to be leaning towards to and the one you'll be yielding to. And that is when you are saved, basically. So they call enlightenment salvation. Are you a Christian? Oh, when you ask me if I'm a Christian, I have to explain it. Yeah, do you have because, to. Because you see, being a Christian is not like going to church or going to a Christian church. You cannot go to church and be a Christian if you will believe in the Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm. Because Christ consciousness is not limited to church. It is everywhere. You can get it everywhere. So if that is the sense, Ah, will be the best friend of a Christian, and then yes. But if it's in the scoop of the church, then I'm because I'm a Christian, there I'm, 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 I'm above that. Like, I can't fit in well. <laughs> you can't fit in. Well. How so many with, church will with, accept with me? With all this um, spiritual teaching and you being, let me use the word universal. Mm. You being a universal now and all that. What's your source of power? What's spirit. your source? Spirit. What spirit? We have lots of spirits. As I say, that's what I told uh -huh. you. I go everywhere. Since when? <laughs> Since you knew me. Because we know that Jesus came here to give us consciousness. That consciousness called Christ, the Nokrano, at the level of some people, it is personified. See, I can say personified. Uh, it is something that is spirit, but we, we are giving it a body to look like a human being. When you go deeper, 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 and if minds that are ready to listen here, they will know that this Jesus and Christ we are talking about is actually a consciousness. According to the Lord Jesus, all who are separated from him are dead spiritually and they are in their sins. John 3 16 said it. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So those who don't believe in Jesus Christ, they perish and they don't have everlasting life. John the Baptist added his voice in John 3 36. He said, He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life. 
but the wrath of God abide on him. In Ephesians 2, 5, 6, Apostle Paul said, Even when we were dead in our trespasses, he made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. So listen, now this is the stand of the scriptures on salvation and being a Christian. But you see deceived people, in the name of deep spirituality, they try to lure the simple and curious minds into errors. And that's how they themselves got into this error. Now, with what we have said so far, you know this lady is not a Christian. Now, if I say this is not a phone and I say it is a computer speaker, for example, a computer mouse, it doesn't make it a computer mouse, neither does it make it a computer speaker. It is what it is because of certain features and certain characteristics. So, being a Christian is not just what you think or what you assume. Now, when they continued the interview, she for the first time began to expose her true faith and identity, which ran contrary to biblical and historical Christianity. You heard nothing like that by a Christian. She said, she works with all spirits you don't know uh, what kind of spirit that works with you you know i work with all spirit including you work with all spirits are, including creator including plant including anything I'm, I'm, i tell you is today i'm hearing this <laughs> all spirit come from one source so you can't work with one and say i don't work with the other it be like say they collect my eye they come <laughs> hey talk to you for your information, I talk to the dead as well. So, who are the Romans? So, oh, I talk to the dead. They can hey. see, they even visit me sometimes. I don't question or say, please, that seeing feathers regularly means your guardian angel is here. It could be they could use feathers depending on the message they want to send to you. What do you say? It could be your guardian angel, it could be the deity from your father's family, it could be the deity from your, your mother's family. They are all called angels. Just say, yeah, yeah, kasa muno. Omo sum ye bo, inti ye from abo sum. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Inti ye bibe ti miya ba, you will see it as an angel. On one can't show or say, or your papa fi Why? Because you are not matured. When they tell you this, you run away. Mm-hmm. Why should you run? Now, do you think a Christian can assume that all spirits come from one source but that's what she said now this is plain disregard for the word of god if all spirits are the same and we can work with all spirits let me ask you a question why does the lord jesus christ cast out spirits from people matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and he gave the apostles power against some spirits so that they will be able to remove those spirits think about it in matthew chapter 10 now in first john chapter 4 verse 1 why does the bible tell us not to believe every spirit prophesying or giving a message then he tells us that not every spirit is of god think about it if you follow this lady blindly you follow her at your own peril she is not different from any ignorant person on the street all she have is good communication skills with boldness but if you check critically what she's saying she never says anything that has foundation though she claims to be a christian that has foundation in the christian faith she even said there's no difference between prophets and priests of god from the bible and fetish priests to her, every priest is a priest. Nyango pono isu unkomi shefu. Enti omu omu kom eshe asaseno. Di esiye ye, di ense siye ye. Omu ne nyango pono yomu ye juma. Wacho ti emiye o. Awati asiye ye. Si akaso biye komi sheni. Ne nyango pono tete no. Mu ane ne mai na mono. Oni a komi shefu. En oni omu chichiri kro. Enti nyango pono betu David aso hene obe manu komi sheni. Or two soul as a hene or man of commissioni somewhere. And in Yanko Punsi Henea, what you come for? No, 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 hold on, hold on. Are you trying to say, say, prophet, no more young a confuana? Is that what you are saying? No, what's the difference between commissioni or confuo? Make us understand. It's the same. There's no difference. In Namibisa, and two person which they say, prophet, no, or more young confuana, or me young commissiafo. And you have to come on a mash at your basic. And she are conforming, come she needs some career, so she will be a beer and him. And two parts, let's say a prophet now and come she for no more, so no more. Yeah, come for now. Exactly. This is called the fallacy of false equivalence. 
because there is a similarity between the words prophesying and divining she has assumed that being a diviner a fetish priest is the same as being a prophet and a priest of god we are going to look at it tomorrow god willing because now they are merging african traditional belief systems sorcery and christianity and they want to be able to back it by all means i'll end it here because of the so many errors and excesses that are found in that interview if you want to see the interview just go on mommy grace channel search um christianity and chief tansy evelyn was in annan and mommy grace or versus mommy grace you are going to see the whole interview but this is just to show you that she's not that spiritual guru that she portrays herself to be but one inquisitive and curious young lady who has good communication skills who without much knowledge much knowledge about the things of the spirit and the gospel because of her poor foundation he, she just came from jw and straight into spirituality do you understand fell captive to seducing an evil spirit and she's been used to mislead many others who want such experiences people like mommy grace people who are inquisitive about spiritual things without proper foundation if you venture into it your curiosity will lead you into your spiritual death she's not different from mommy grace at all all she has is a good communication skill but when it comes to things of the spirit she is confused don't be surprised when she quotes verses because the devil can quote verses but of course all the verses are misinterpreted and misapplied in order to keep you in error there are many spirits out there and there are many voices out there and you must learn to test every spirit you hear i showed it to you in my last video check it out there where i talked about believe not every spirit which involved this same lady god bless you i'm going to see you in the next video tomorrow the lord bless you shalom